We're here at the Teradek booth where Colin is going to show us the brand new addition to the Bolt series. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jia Yun, Small Rig, and B&H. So Colin, brand new Bolt. I have to ask, why do we need a new Bolt? So Bolt 6 is our replacement to Bolt 4K. It essentially is for the most part the same as Bolt 4K, but it introduces six gigahertz uh, frequencies. So this is super important because um, Wi-Fi, there's so many Wi-Fi devices on set now, you know, and, and, and so many just Wi-Fi signals on set. And so you're getting some interruptions um, in your video signal. Because right. traditionally, most devices, especially now, are using the five gigahertz that the right. Bolt was originally right. used for, right? Yeah, when we came out with Bolt originally, there wasn't very many devices using 5 gigahertz and so video signal was it was incredible yeah they were using 2.4 and so um, so just like back then what we're introducing is a new frequency because uh, governments around the world are now making this available for public use um, so you don't need a license you can just access this this frequency um, so 6 gigahertz now uh, we offer a spectrum analyzer on our Bolt uh, Manager app and so you can see all the spectrums that are around you in your area and you can see oh you know a certain frequency is is looking good and so you may want to use that specific frequency for your um, wireless video. And, and in relation to that like how are, do we have more or about the same amount of frequencies available? Yeah so with with 6 gigahertz we're now offering 12 new frequencies um, so that's in addition to, to, to the 5 gigahertz. So six, the Bolt 6 just adds the frequencies, right? You're not, it's not only 6 or 5, uh, it's all the frequencies. So even if 6 gigahertz starts to get you know, more busy, you just have more options to choose from. So that's super important on set. We have a really cool use case where um, uh, virtual production is using um, and like gaming uh, to shoot content for gaming, um, they will they will have maybe almost 10 uh, Bolt 6s in one studio, and because they have more frequencies, they can actually have more wireless signals in that one tiny space. Um, so it's really cool what kind of options you have because you have more frequencies to choose from. So what about like ranges? Is it uh, the same original ranges as like uh, the 4K? Yeah, so it's the same ranges as Bolt 4K. So I'll quickly kind of go over that we have three families of Bolt 6. So the first one is the Bolt 6 XT, which is 4K uh, over SDI. So it's 12G, 12G SDI. Um, and that comes with... Um, the either the 750 foot, the 1500 foot, or the max. Um, we call it max because the range will actually vary based on how you kind of use it. So it's 3,000 out of the box, but you can get up to 5,000 um, in either broadcast mode or in uh, using our array antenna. You can increase the mode. So about 5,000 feet. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then the next uh, sort of series or family of products is uh, the Bolt 6 LT. And the LT is a much smaller physical unit. It's 3G um, SDI. Um, so that means HD over SDI, although you can do 4K over HDMI. Okay. Um, and again, that comes in the 750, 1500, and max ranges. Awesome. And that would be for like you know, putting it on a gimbal or anywhere where you're like a little more constrained yeah. with uh, space? Yeah, exactly. It's physically smaller, so it can kind of fit in smaller spaces. Okay. Um, and then the last one is our monitor module. Uh, and so this is specifically for our small HD monitors okay. so that you can um, integrate and use less cables, less power management um, with our small HD uh, Smart 7 series. Which um, is, I believe, so this. This is actually a, this is a Smart 5 series, which we announced um, at IBC. And um, they actually have the Bolt 6 built into the unit. So you don't even have to attach anything. Everything's just built in, um, which means it's even smaller. Uh, less footprint, less cable management, less everything is just built in. And does it also communicate to the camera? Uh, if you want to make adjustments? Yeah, so what's really cool about this is we now have our camera control um, so you can do that wirelessly. So with RED and with ARRI um, you can have a smart, uh, smart 5 or a Smart 7 on the camera plugged into the camera and then plugged in from the small HD into a bolt um, you can send that wireless camera control to a remote monitor 
um, and control all the settings remotely. So it's pretty That's cool. That's insane. Yeah. Really, like, coming down on how much equipment yeah. we need to do what we used to need, like, 50 different things, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all just because Teradex Small HD is all integrated together, you know, you have those kind of features. And what about price and availability? How much is this going to run me? Yeah, so the cheapest model uh, for Bolt 6 is our Bolt 6 LT HDMI. So it's a HDMI only solution, um, but it gets you into the Bolt 6 world. And so that's uh, less than $2,000 for that unit. And then depending on the, you know, the kit and the deluxe kit, we have all kinds of accessories that come with it. And all this can be up to up to $10,000. Um, There's a range. Yeah, for the max. So, but all of those are available today. Um, and yeah. And just a reminder to everyone, the Bolt series is a zero latency, right? Yeah, that's a huge component. Um, there's a lot of other people out there that are that are have Wi-Fi solutions, and so there is going to be delay. And for critical things like pulling focus or a script supervisor that needs to physically communicate with the actors, you have to have zero delay. Um, and so that's what this solution provides. It's always incredible to me that Teradex is so capable of doing these things and like massive changes for workflow. So thanks a lot for telling us that. Uh, everyone at home, we're going to keep watching the floor touring around, see what we can find. This is Adam Furman from DIYPhotography.net, NAB 2023.